Hi, and welcome to the IA's series of videos giving you quick overviews of the proposed Global Internal Audit Standards. My name is Larissa Nelson, and I'm the Senior Manager of Professional Standards. I'll be describing the principles and standards in ethics and professionalism, which is domain two, immediately following the purpose of internal auditing. You're probably familiar with the IA's Code of Ethics, which contains principles and rules of conduct. The proposed global internal audit standards brings all of that into the ethics and professionalism domain. The proposed global internal audit standards still have principles, but instead of rules of conduct, now everything is a standard. Along with those Code of Ethics elements, the standards on objectivity, competency, and due professional care were incorporated into this domain. This new domain of standards serves as the Internal Auditor's Code of Ethics. Within the domain are the principles and standards. Each standard contains requirements of the standard, as well as considerations for implementation and considerations for evidence of conformance. Let's start with principle one, demonstrate integrity. The standards under principle one built on the four existing rules of conduct in the code of ethics under integrity and added some new concepts intended to add depth and intention to really complete the integrity of principle. For instance, standard 1.1 describes concepts of honesty and adds courage. While courage may have been implied previously, it's added very intentionally now. The requirement to disclose all material facts also has moved from objectivity into the integrity principle. Considerations for implementation in standard 1.1 includes a public sector consideration, which explicitly mentions that internal auditors in the public sector should always protect the public interest and should display courage when providing findings, recommendations, and conclusions. Standard 1.2, organization's ethical expectations, describes how internal auditors must assess and make recommendations to improve the organization's ethics-related objectives, policies, and processes. It also describes what internal auditors should do when they observe behavior that is inconsistent with the organization's ethical expectations. And standard 1.3, legal and professional behavior, is similar to what's in the current code of ethics regarding illegal, harmful behaviors or behaviors that might be discreditable to the organization or the internal audit profession. Principle two, maintain objectivity. Internal auditors maintain an impartial and unbiased attitude when performing internal audit services and making decisions. The concept of objectivity now is separated from that of independence. We've made that clear and brought in the objectivity standards as well as the code of ethics principles and rules of conduct related to objectivity together in one place now. Standard in 2.1, individual objectivity contains all the requirements about individual objectivity plus specific examples of potential biases and a requirement for the CAE, Chief Audit Executive, to support and promote objectivity by providing policies, procedures, and training. And Standard 2.2, Safeguarding Objectivity, captures the requirements for recognizing and avoiding or mitigating the risk of impairments to objectivity. In the considerations for implementation, Standard 2.2 also includes a consideration about disclosing potential impairments that uniquely applies in the public sector. Standard 2.3 describes requirements for disclosing impairments to objectivity and requirements related to chief audit executive roles and responsibilities beyond internal auditing. These concepts are captured in Standard 2.3 in the ethics domain, but further elaborated in the governing domain because the standards require the board to implement oversight up activities to safeguard objectivity when the CAE is in roles beyond internal auditing. Standards Board carefully reviewed the concepts of competency, proficiency, and due professional care in the current standards before developing principles three and four. Principle three brings together the code of ethics elements and the standards on competency and proficiency. In standard 3.1, seven specific types of knowledge have been identified as part of internal audit competency. This standard also calls out the CAE's responsibility to make sure the internal audit function collectively possesses the necessary competencies to perform its work. Standard 3.2, continuing professional development, proposes a new requirement that all internal auditors must obtain a minimum of 20 hours of continuing professional development annually. Internal auditors holding certifications are expected to keep those certifications current 
by obtaining the additional continuing professional development required to the, for those certifications. Separate from competency, the ethics and professionalism domain has principle four, exercise due professional care, with standards dedicated to expectations related to how internal auditors perform their work to evidence due professional care. Internal auditors must conform with the global internal audit standards, which is standard 4.1, and deliberately consider specific aspects of the organization and the services they will provide in standards 4.2 and 4.3. Standard 4.3 adds the concept of professional skepticism, which previously was mentioned in guidance, but was not a standard. Principle five, maintain confidentiality, is the last principle in the ethics and professionalism domain. In principle five, both standards provide clarifications to the concept of confidentiality, describing it more in terms of the care internal auditors must exercise when handling the information to which they have access. Standard 5.1, use of information, and standard 5.2, protection of information, provide more specific language regarding how information that is confidential, proprietary, and or personally identifiable must be handled and protected. A public sector consideration for implementation appears in standard 5.2 regarding the disclosure of information, which is often required in the public sector. <clears throat> 